Let's make the eyes pop. Start by adding a new group with the command or control G shortcut. Next, add an exposure adjustment. If the exposure adjustment is created above your group, move it inside the group by dragging and dropping it on the group name in the layers panel. Now, increase the exposure all the way to the max. We are now going to mask the group to the eyes only. Make sure the group is selected and while holding the Alt or Option key, click on the mask icon. Select empty mask and now, with a white brush, we can paint the effect in the eyes. Expand the group and select the exposure adjustment. Two things left to do. First, change the blend mode to overlay and then open the blend options and change the blend range for the underlaying layer. Awesome! Look at the eyes. For the cherry on the top, let's increase the color by adding a recolor adjustment on top of the exposure adjustment. Before selecting a color, it is best to first change the blend mode of this adjustment to pin light and modify the blend range similar to the blend range of the exposure adjustment. Now we can choose the color we need and fine tune the strength of the color by adjusting the saturation and the lightness. Pretty cool. Most of the time the effect will be too much. You can either lower the opacity of the group or what I like to do is to lower the fill percentage instead of the opacity. There you have it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like or subscribe.